On today's show, we're playing target practice with the cast and crew of Arrow to get a look into Oliver Queen's future. Plus, we're settling in for the season finale of DC's Legends of Tomorrow, so get ready for DC All Access. Anymore. And I'm Jason Inman. We met with Commissioner Gordon and got briefed on all the DC news that you need to know. DC just announced that Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo are reuniting for a new Batman project called Dark Knight's Metal. It's not like a dark Gotham-based story. It takes you all over the DCU and it's meant to be like dinosaurs and lasers and robots and Frazetta. Lasers? Yeah. What? These aren't the point lasers. Those are harmless. You can look into those. So these are the lasers <laughs> that cut people in half. Like, That's like, crazy like, talk. <laughs> lasers. Oh, I know. So 90s. Right. So he told me, you know, where we're going with this. And so I thought about the image for a little while. I go, I'm thinking like Batman with, you know, fire behind him, you know, carrying a battle axe. And then I thought about it for about five minutes more and I go, I'm th actually thinking two battle axes. <laughs> and it was that point he just lost his mind. And he goes, I love you so much. Every page is like it's something explosive and a WTF moment. And it's, it's, it's a celebration of what I love about comics and, and same with Greg loves about comics and the fact that we want to give something back to you guys. It just lets us all have a summer where we're just enjoying this thing for, to no end. Keep one eye open for the premiere of Dark Knight's Metal later this year. The questions surrounding the Man of Steel's identity have been resolved and he's taking his life back to Metropolis in Superman. Leaving Hamilton turns out to be easier said than done as a mysterious force interrupts Clark's plans. Plus, Batman and Robin discover that Superboy is losing his powers. This is Peter Tomasi and Patrick Gleason giving us one of the best Superman runs we have ever seen with a new costume, plus the Super Sons. Run to your local comic book shop and pick up Superman number 20 starting tomorrow. A secret government program has backfired and turned into a national state of emergency in Vertigo's Savage Things. Abel is the sole assassin to ever escape the Black Forest program, and as such, he's the only one who can stop his former colleagues from slaughtering the patients at a local hospital. I read issue one last week and it was absolutely fantastic, so keep tabs on the rising terrorist threat in issue number two this week. In TV news, it's time to clear your social calendars for the premieres and finales on The CW. The sophomore season of Legends of Tomorrow wraps up with a terrifying time quake that forces the team to violate the number one rule of time travel. And in iZombie season three premiere, Liv faces the reality of a growing zombie army that's prepared to go to war with humanity. You can catch all the DC TV drama tonight on The CW. On the gaming side, DC Legends is adding a classic villain to its roster that'll turn you green with envy. Poison Ivy puts down her roots this week and brings a toxic ferocity to the arena that will render her opponents dazed and defenseless. Open up the DC Legends app and unlock the red-headed eco-terrorist for yourself today. The wait is over, and you can see the Teen Titans iconic clash with Destro come to life in Teen Titans The Judas Contract. Finding chemistry with new team members is always tricky, but Terra's dynamic with the Titans is especially troubling. Can the heroes come together and conquer the challenge, or will dysfunction spell their downfall? Check out the movie on VOD and find out the answer today. As we approach the finish line of Arrow's fifth season, the show is setting the stage to tie up all the loose ends from Oliver's past in an epic season finale. For today's featured story, we caught up with the cast and crew to find out the fate of Star City. So season five wrapping up is really like, it's like graduation for us because it's the end of our flashback story. Which is going to be very interesting as to how the producers connect the end of Prometheus and the end of the island. Great. You know, in the last episode that just aired, Prometheus has Oliver in his clutches. We're going to find out what he's all about. Is it, how is he going to get Oliver and what's he going to do to him now that he has him? You know, the whole season he's been looking back at the past and he's going to put a lot of those old demons to rest and find a new way to move on. You know, what kind of person is Oliver? Is he someone, is he a lone wolf? Does he need a team? Uh, is he a good man? Is he a bad man? All of those things are on the table right now. We're also going to really see, uh, stick the landing on Felicity and her work with Helix and, you know, what's going to happen with her and Elena. It's going to be some, some we're excited about the stories coming up. Stop in the name of the panel of the week. 
all the news we've got for you this week. But hey, don't forget that you have until April 17th to register for your chance to win DC's huge WonderCon giveaway. The only way you guys can get that, you gotta head over to dccomics.com slash sweeps, and then you know what they gotta do? They gotta fill out a form, because it's the only way they're gonna win that giant pile of DC goodies. It's so easy, it's just a form. It's just do a form, it. you, you guys go fill out the form. You gotta do it. And while you're at it, subscribe to DC All Access. Hey, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, super friends.